What if you ignored all the rules of car racing and had a contest which was simply to get a human being around a track 200 times as fast as possible? Human biology limits us to Daytona finishing times over an hour, but what if we dropped the survive requirement? How fast can we get the vehicle to go around the track? Well, let's imagine a vehicle attached with Kevlar straps to a pivot in the center of a similarly sized circular track. In effect, this is a giant centrifuge. This lets us apply one of my favorite weird equations, which says that the edge of a spinning disc can't go faster than the square root of the specific strength of the material it's made of, or it'll tear itself apart. For strong materials like Kevlar, this speed is one to two kilometers per second. At those speeds, a capsule could conceivably finish the race in about 10 minutes, although definitely not with a living driver inside. What if we build a chute like a bobsled course and send a ball bearing rocketing down it. Sadly, the disc equation strikes again. The ball bearing can't roll faster than a couple of kilometers per second, or it will be spinning too fast and it will also tear itself apart. What if we make it slide? Diamond is one of the toughest materials, so we could imagine a diamond capsule sliding along a smooth diamond chute. However, the sliding would result in substantially more friction than the ball bearing example and our diamond might catch fire. To defeat friction, we could levitate the capsule with magnetic fields and make it progressively smaller and lighter to accelerate and steer it more easily. Oops, we've accidentally built a particle accelerator. The particles in the Large Hadron Collider's beam go very close to the speed of light. At that speed, they complete 500 meters in 2.7 milliseconds. The LHC beam could run the equivalent of a full Daytona 500 in about two seconds before the drivers had made it to the first turn. And that's really as fast as you can.